Hello and welcome to Project VRS and welcome to day 2 and the second episode of the series. Today we have quite a little bit of fitment and uh, still more work because today we are going to be ECU and TCU tuning the car as well. We are going to be uh, replacing the brakes with an OEM uh, newer parts as well as our new air intake from AMS which is fully carbon fiber. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Before anyone reached in the morning, the boys at Mechanics were hard at work. Something we didn't mention in the last video was, this VRS had a fresh new coat of paint on. That's why the bumpers and lights were off the car. So the first thing in the morning, the Mechanics fitted the bumpers and lights and were running some checks on the car, just to make sure everything was alright. Okay, so we are in the process of replacing the air intake with our upgraded air intake and this is the stock one. In, on the inside you'll be able to see that it's a square filter, the stock one, which uh, mainly does the job but uh, doesn't have enough volume of area, uh, area volume to take in as much air as a conical air filter. So this is quite heavy compared to our carbon fiber AMS air intake which will also have more surface area and uh, pull a bit more air and keep the air cooler through the intake. Okay, so because we are going to be working on uh, the intake, we are also going to be uh, changing the turbo inlet which connects the intake to the turbo and brings the cold air. We have make, uh, we've got an APR turbo inlet which is wider and has more surface area for more air which means more boost and also we are doing a turbo muffler delete so that the uh, airflow is again not restricted and, has, and this will give us a really nice turbo boost sound. Okay, so we have started the fitment process of the air intake and uh, I just wanted to show you all that in the VRS230 you actually get two channels even visible from here but in the stock one you only they only use one intake from the entire channel in the grill and uh, that's because they want a bit of air they wanted a bit of air to go over the engine as a form of air cooling but now we are going to be covering both holes in the grill are going to be covered by our intake so that we have all the air going into the engine this is possible because our integrated engineering intercooler has that much power to cool down the engine by itself Okay, so we are almost done with all of the performance parts and the fitment of them. So we are quickly flashing the ECU with a base file. We have erased, not erased, we have taken away the stock file, kept it in our drive and uh, now we are flashing the tune in. Uh, this time we are doing it a little bit differently because we are going to be putting the car into a dyno which is another episode for you so stay tuned for that one. But uh, so we are putting in a base tuned file, a base stage 2 file now and uh, all of the changes can be done while doing the dyno runs. So we are going to be doing that and now that the ECU flash is going to be tuned we can uh, change to the, we can uh, go, go on forward to the TCU flash and all done.
So as you can see next to me, we are connecting the Remus's uh, Valvetronic uh, electronic system that's going to be connected to the fuse box so that uh, we can open and close the valves at will whenever we want. Okay, so as you can see this cable right here is the one that connects the power to the Valvetronic electronic uh, box that goes straight down to the Remus uh, computer system that uh, lets the Valvetronic system know what is happening and the two other cables go, go to each uh, box that is down because this is a dual exhaust system so there will be a, a Valtronic system down in one pipe and in the other pipe Okay, so we've also upgraded our rims. We have upsized an inch. They, uh, you get 17 inches uh, rims stock in the VRS 230. We've gone for 18 inches and we've wrapped them around Michelin Pilot Sport, Pilot Sport 4. These are TSW rims, which are from South Africa. They're a Johannesburg company. And what performance rims do is that they reduce the unsprung mass around the wheels because you see, uh, mass that is moving creates more and more rolling resistance so this can actually make a much bigger difference than many mechanical parts that we've already put the boys were starting to piece back the interior of the vrs because it was in the paint booth also sushant had already started working on a better version of the base file just for fun to see what all could be done and for the people who want to know who the tuner is, it is none other than E-Tuners India providing us with their stage 2 pops and bangs tune. We decided to change the brake discs and brake pads as well. We decided to go for a brand called ATE. And these aren't any sort of upgrades over the stock brake, but rather a replacement of sorts. So our last task for today was to change the rotors and the pads. So that's exactly what we have done. These are the older uh, rotors. As you can see, they're a little worn, but the owner decided to be better safe than sorry. The pads are also uh, changed and as you can see they've lost their shape a little bit all that's fixed we are done for the day thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next episode it's a big one you guys are going to love it if you guys like the content please like subscribe and share our content and i'll see you in the next one peace